Hello everyone, we have into the shop right now a Freightliner Cascade from 2017, I guess, and it have a problem when you're releasing the brake pedal, the brake light is still on. Sometimes it goes off, but usually it's always on. And the problem is in the brake pressure switch. It's a wall style brake pressure switch with three pins, and there was a recall about this problem, so the Freightliner decided to update the brake pressure switch from three pin to two pin connector but you if you will replace it on a two pin brake pressure switch you also will need to buy the new harness that is going to allow you to connect the old harness to the new harness and the new harness to the two pin connector brake, brake, brake pressure switch it's just a plug and play harness so don't forget to buy the harness as well we just got the harness and now we're going to install on the track and we'll see how it works This is the air pressure sensor, so on the top is the sensor we need right there. Now we're gonna remove that sensor. This is a three pin. As you can see, it has a three pin connector. Now we're gonna remove the sensor. And we're gonna replace it with this one. This is gonna be the new sensor with two pin connector. And this is the harness adapter, the two pin that is gonna go into the sensor, and the three pin connector. That is gonna go right here. Now we need to remove that sensor. We just lose the sensor. Now we're gonna take it off. As you can see, this is the panel that goes right there. Be careful, because on one of them I tried to use the wrench key and I forced it and it broke the thread inside. So if you broke the thread inside, you'll need to replace the whole panel. So this time I used a socket. This is the size that you will need. And as you can see, this is the new sensor, two pins. And this is the old sensor with three pins. Right now, when the sensor is disconnected, your brake lights will be also on. If you will connect the sensors, the lights will go off. Right now I'm gonna connect and show you. As you can see right now the pin, the connector, it's connected to the sensor and our brake lights went off. But sometimes because of a bad sensor, you will just press the brake pedal, you will release and they will stay on. So now we're gonna connect the right sensor. This one with the harness. Now we're gonna connect the yeah. adapter harness. The three pin right here. And the two pin connector goes. Right on the sensor. Yeah. Oh. Like this. And you can use a zip tie to attach them together. Let's see if the brakes are on. As you can see, we connected and our brakes went off. I just started the track to build up the pressure to a maximum and after I'm gonna press and release the brake pedal and we're gonna test the brake light. So fair release! Elberiaz! A pass yar! Elberiaz! Now it's all good, as you can see if we're releasing the brake pedal, the brake light is going off. Good to go. No more active issues related to the brake. We have two, but they're related to the axle temperature. Nothing more. 